Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I kind of did this video sort of kind of backwards because my intention was to do my intro with the bare face and for whatever reason I just didn't do that. But anyway, welcome back. <laughs> and today we will be just, why am I spitting so much? Today we will be discussing the Wet n Wild Zodiac sign collection, Zodiac collection that I received a few weeks ago. It has been out there. I think this is one of the the highest um, anticipated collections from Wet n Wild that I have seen in such a long time. And a lot of their products have not been sold out, but this particular um, collection was sold out in a matter of minutes. I couldn't get a hold of it, but I end up getting the collection all together. And so I have all the lip glosses, all the highlighters, all the little quad eyeshadows, for display for you today and also I created this look that I have going on using the fire sign collection I am a Leo as you can see Leo facts yes 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 <laughs> so um, I did um, use those colors or what was meant for my zodiac to create this look so if you're interested in seeing how I created this look stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe before you get all nice and cozy and wanting to see something. Go ahead. It's Got that melanin magic, brown skin popping, always fly. I stay in a cockpit. I want it, I cop it, open the door, then lock it. I decided to get up close and personal, you know, so you could see how these eyeshadows apply and you know there's no trickery or whatever I really don't I love this lens but my god like you see the entire pie face <laughs> so anyway we're gonna get into this look using the wet n wild zodiac sign collection and I am a Leo so we're gonna do use the fire sign um, products for this look even though I think that there are the other ones look a little prettier like the earth sign the earth sign is my favorite just by looking at it but i am a leo i'm a fire sign so i'm a rock with what's meant for me <laughs> okay so we're gonna go ahead and get started i already did my brows as you can see i put some concealer to shape them up so now i add for those who have been watching me you guys know that i use an additional base and i'm gonna go in with what shade i'm gonna go in with the p louise rumor number five i just got these in the mail i got all seven shades and i will be reviewing these at a at another time but I have all seven so we're gonna see if they all brown girl friendly okay now that the eyelids are primed I'm gonna use a combination because since these eyeshadows from the zodiac collection didn't come with any transition colors I am going to use their little um, their, their palettes to kind of you know do the transition and get the matte shades going on so let's take a look see I think with the very first palette I'm gonna use that it's not a basic peach and I'm going to start with this shade right here I didn't want to use this brush I don't know why I picked that one up I'm gonna go in with a denser brush to kind of pat that in I'm just gonna round about this now I'm gonna go in with the palette Rose in the Air and I'm going to take this reddish color right here if you can see it I don't know. This, yes take this reddish color right here and kind of go above what I already created oh well maybe not <laughs> I didn't expect for it to be that tense, so I'm just going to go over, oh lord, I'm just going to go over what I just laid down. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that. Okay, well, alright. <laughs> and this is my first time using it. Okay. That was nicely pigmented. And now I'm going to take this orange, um, this orange color, like a burnt orange from the rose in the water. I mean, rose in the water, did I say that earlier? Rose in the air and 
and go above and blend out. There's a little bit of fallout. Let me see if this, because I wanted the orange to be a little brighter. Let me see if this orange right here from the Not A Basic Peach does anything. And I'm just going to use the same brush. Yes. That one, the other one was a little too red. And I went back in with the deeper orange to kind of make it look equal <laughs> to the other side. It's a little, I don't know if you guys can see that. I don't know if it's a dry patch or it's just kind of skippy over there. But these little palettes are like four to five dollars. Like, I'm not gonna moan and groan too much about it. Like, it's pretty. Yeah, they're pretty dope for the price. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Okay, so now we're going to go in with this baby right here. I don't know why I have a hard time holding products up with this baby right here. And, I, you know, I did swatch it so you guys will see them throughout the video. I haven't figured out how I'm going to insert them. But I have swatched every shade in this pan. I don't know if you can see, but um, I'm going to go ahead and of course use this red shade up here. The only thing I don't like about this particular pan, like the shades blend together. So it's like even when you swatch, you can accidentally hit another color and then you will not get the pure shade of the actual eyeshadow. So that's the only, you know, issue that I have with it. But I've never worn these. I couldn't tell you, you know, how they perform. So with all that being said, let's kind of get this popping. So I'm just going to take a, a big shade of brush and kind of run across. I'm going to dab it on my eyelid dry and then I'm going to see how it performs wet. Ooh. Ooh. And this is going to be a simple look. Like, it's not going to, you know, be all extravagant or whatnot. See if wetting it makes a difference. No, at least I don't think so. I don't think it makes it look any brighter. I mean, maybe a smidgen, but... Is, I mean, I'm not mad. So I'm going to maybe take a mix of the two of these. And let's see. And put it right here in the center. If it does anything. No. So I'm going to go in with the gold. And just kind of tap it around. It's not giving me any vibrancy. So I'm just using this shade right here. Because when I try to mix those two, like the copper shade and that gold shade, it did nothing. Should we take a little bit of brown to deepen the crease? Let's, why not? So I'm just going to take this little brown right here and kind of deepen it. And then I'm going to dip it and kind of mix it with the red. So it doesn't take get that feel away. And just go into some swirl emotions. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with this little shade right here the, the lighter shade right here and put it in my inner corner these eyeshadows are powdery like that doesn't necessarily mean that it's a bad shadow it's just they're powdery let me see if I can add a little bit of life to it if I wet my brush first this, this time and see if I give it a little bit of yeah, okay so it, it is better if you wet your brush first versus wetting the brush after you applied product onto the brush okay I'm gonna put a little bit on my brow which I don't ever use because I really don't like brow highlights I just don't. okay so 
I don't think the, the look came out pretty good. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to finish my face off camera. And then we will talk more about... Well, I'm going to come back. I'm going to do the rest of my face off camera. And I'm going to come back and then I'm going to do the lip. So you'll be able to see what the, when the, the whatever lip gloss I choose to put with it. I might do the Leo because that is my sign. Do the Leo lip gloss and it looks like this. I just don't understand why they thought that this particular color was a fiery like I get the orange or whatever there we go I get the orange but to me I wouldn't have chose that like the Sagittarius one is more of like you know that lioness kind of feel to it but whatever so I might mix the two work with it so we'll see what's popping <laughs> all right um i'll be right back <clears throat> so on my face i did use the wet n wild foundation i kind of mixed the two darker shades and i just kind of stick with the you know the wet n wild kind of theme or whatever i will leave everything i used offline i will definitely put down in the description box okay description is it a box that <laughs> down in the description down in the description so the next thing we have to do is put on our highlighter and i am using the fire highlighter which is more like a peachy tone one of the warmer shaded <laughs> highlighter out of the four okay I mean, she's not horrible she's a little light though i guess this would be lighter than this the earth would still be lighter okay we're just working with it but I did think it was going to be a little deeper or a little warmer than it is all right put a little bit on my nose the bridge of my nose once you put it on it doesn't like it blends well though like at least on my nose it doesn't or maybe it's just me so now we're gonna do the lips so I am going to go in with the Leo um, lip gloss and I have never bought any of the wet and wild lip liners or whatever the case is I didn't want to use any of their lipsticks to go along with this look I kind of want to just really enhance and really kind of highlight the lip gloss so I am going to use a ColourPop um, lip liner in Ellery oh I didn't put highlighter in my cupid's bow naughty okay I don't want to get lip liner. Man, I don't know if it's the, the I don't know if it's the glitter. Okay, I mean this is gonna have to do, huh? All right, and I'm going to set my face with a Wet and Wild um setting spray this is the matte I put it in my Mac bottle because I really like the setting spray from wet n wild and I want something bigger and I'll show you I hate this chair so this is my empty bottle and I just transfer it into here so people don't think I'm lying the wet n wild the wet n wild setting spray I think is underrated it's very good for a girl who's oily it does keep my face as this dries, I'll be right back with my final thoughts. All right, so this is the final look using the Wet n Wild Zodiac sign collection in Leo, the fire sign. So I must say, it is pretty dope for what it is. Like, for real, I don't think that anybody would ever be able to clock the products that I use today. Like, even with the foundation, the stuff that I use off camera, Wet n Wild is coming up in such a major way that people need to look out for them. Like, I'm not that type of person who's real bougie on getting, you know, um, high-end high products. If it works, it works. You know, you know what I'm saying? Unless you have, like, sensitive skin. And I know that um, drugstore products tend to use cheaper ingredients to produce what they produce. So, I mean, everything's a trial and error. A high-end product can make you break out or what have you. But I will say, 
I truly truly enjoyed the products that I used today um as far as like the little um eyeshadow palette like this is one thing that I probably would never gravitate towards you know what I'm saying but it's very pretty like if you wanted a you know a quick pop of color a little shimmer nothing too you know intense these are perfect but again for the 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 price point you're really you know you know getting a good deal for it you know what I'm saying so so I wouldn't say pass up on any of the products I love glosses here lately. I'm into glosses more than I am into matte lipsticks or bullet lipsticks, period. So if you can get anything out of this collection, I will say that the lip glosses is always a go. The only thing with the lip glosses is that they have glitter in them. A little grainy and um, if you're very <laughs> sensitive to glitter, you can kind of feel like, I wouldn't say cutting, but sort of. Like I don't even know how to explain that. but kind of the grit of the glitter you can kind of feel it against your lips and it's not the it, it's not a great feeling but it's not a horrible feeling either if that makes any sense to you so let's check on online real quick to see what's available okay so I'm checking online right now for the um color icon shadows they are like I was said before they are $4.99 so you five dollars can't beat it <clears throat> they also have each element of the zodiac you know as a bundle so you can get the fire the air the water the earth signs and a bundle for like $21 $20.95 you really can't beat that the lip glosses are $2.99 like come on and the highlighters are $6.99, which here lately, Wet n Wild has been killing them with the highlighters. And the uh, Mega Glow Loose Highlighting Powder is also $6.99. So again, the highlighters and the lip glosses are the ones. I will say with these highlighters, I wasn't like, oh, even with swatching them, I wasn't wild. But um, I'm not mad to have them either. I think that what I have on today looks good you won't be able to clock me with the products that I have on so yeah I say it's a go so you know if you're interested in picking up that collection it's still available on wetandwild.com and I haven't checked on Walmart but I know that this um, particular line with well, this particular collection was exclusive to Walmart only so definitely check out walmart.com to see if they have it available I personally haven't seen it in any of my local Walmarts then again I haven't really been looking because I have already bought them <laughs> have already bought them so yeah if you like this video give it a thumbs up if there were um you know products that you saw you know what whether I, wa I swatched it whether I put it on my face tell me what you liked about the collection or what you didn't like about the collection down in the comment section and don't forget to follow your girl on everything Tally is eye candy that's on snapchat twitter instagram and facebook and I will de definitely catch you on the next one don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like don't forget to comment and I'll catch you all in the next one bye Say, la mujer es que no, que no le hace falta un hombre para